Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to City Hall. I am Councilmember Vanessa Gibson of District 16 in the Bronx. I am proud to step in to serve as the chair of this committee, the Rules, Privileges, and Elections, in the absence of our chair, Karen Koslowitz. Um, I am thankful for all of my colleagues who are here. I'd like to recognize them this morning. Our minority leader, Councilmember Steve Matteo, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Margaret Chen, Councilmember Rory Lansman, Councilmember Richie Torres, and Councilmember Mark Traeger. I'd also like to acknowledge the Rules Committee Council, Lance Pallavi, and the staff members of the Council's Investigative Unit. First, I acknowledge our Chief Compliance Officer, Chuck Davis, and our investigators, Andre Johnson-Brown and Julius Garanda. Today, the Rules Committee will consider two items. The first item is the appointment of Alana Steven, Counsel to the City Council's Committee on Criminal Justice for the appointment by the Council to the New York City Board of Corrections Transgender, Gender Nonconforming, Non-Binary, and Intersex Task Force. And second, we have a proposed change to the rules of the Council concerning a name change to a land use subcommittee. If the council appoints Ms. Seaven to the transgender, gender nonconforming, non-binary, and intersex task force, she will serve for an undefined term. If the council votes to approve the proposed council rule change, rule number 11.10, the subcommittee on landmarks, public sightings, and maritime uses will be changed to the subcommittee on landmarks, public sightings, and dispositions. A little bit about the transgender, gender nonconforming, non-binary, and intersex task force. Pursuant to local law 145 of 2019, the Board of Corrections shall convene a task force to review the Department of Corrections policies as it relates to the treatment and the housing of transgender, gender nonconforming, non-binary, and intersex individuals in the Department of Corrections custody. This task force shall consist of a representative from each of the following who shall serve at the pleasure of the appointing agency. The Department of Correction, Correctional Health Services, the Commission on Human Rights, the Mayor's Office to End Domestic and Gender-Based Violence, the New York City Unity Project or a similar organization, and the New York City Council. The task force shall also include at least one representative from each of the following categories to be appointed by the Board of Corrections. Formerly incarcerated individuals, individuals formerly or currently incarcerated in the transgender housing unit to the extent practicable, service providers that address transgender, gender nonconforming, non-binary and intersex individuals in custody, as well as local and national organizations that address issues that are related to transgender, gender nonconforming, non-binary, and intersex individuals. Members of this task force shall serve without compensation and shall meet no less often than on a quarterly basis. Ms. Steven is present here in our chambers if any of my colleagues have any questions. Our second item on the agenda is the rules of the council number 11.10. The land use committee has the following subcommittees, zoning and franchises, landmarks, public sightings, and maritime uses, and such others as shall be determined by the speaker. The proposed change to rule number 11.10 will change the name of the subcommittee on landmarks, public sightings, and maritime uses to the subcommittee on landmarks, public sightings, and dispositions. Do any members of our committee have any questions or comments about the proposed rules change before us today? Okay, hearing none, I will also recognize that 
during the public comment period. We will open the floor now at this time for any public comments that we have. We ask that anyone that wants to provide public testimony, please limit their comments to three minutes. And if you wish to speak, we ask that you fill out an appearance card with our sergeant at arms and you'll be given an opportunity to make your comment. Also, if you have a written statement that you would like to provide for the council, please provide a copy of that statement as well to our sergeant at arms. Do any members have any comments, questions, or concerns as we proceed? Okay, hearing none, I will now call upon our clerk to call the vote for all of the items on today's agenda of the Rules Committee. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on rules, privileges, and elections. Items are coupled. Council Member Gibson. Congratulations, Ms. Steven. We look forward to working with you in your new capacity, and we thank you for your service in advance. I vote aye on all. Chin. Aye on all. Lanceman. Aye. Torres. Traeger. Aye. Adams. Congratulations on your appointment. I vote aye on all. Mario. Mario. Yes. By vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Councilmember Torres. 